An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A sermon. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, who we go through bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your own adult style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. operates on a currency of women's insecurities. Multi-billion dollar industries thriving on like just make them feel like their bodies are unacceptable and then like sell them some shit. Look at any magazine, like you're amazing, they need to lose like 10 pounds. Love your body, love your hair, whatever you've done is wrong. You look like a sea monster. Everything's got like a weird mixed message and a weird like hoary undertone, like be a bad girl, own your sexuality, but if you fuck more than one dude, you're a whore. Like everything's wrong. Now you can't just go around like epic dudes, but you can have sex with more than one, and that's okay. Even my eyeliner has a sexual message, it's called bad gal. 14 year olds can buy those. Are they bad gals? Yeah, tiny bad gals. Here comes the little devil that sits on your shoulder, and as you're putting on whispers, salacious things in your ear, like, oh, I better get ready for the You're a bad gal. Close that window, yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Yeah, you wanna fuck it, a dumpster movie. <laughs> Like a bag out, but just someone that just needs a home. I don't. Know. Not a bag out. I'm just trying to put on eyeliner so I don't like newborn hamster face. I'm just trying to. Yeah, no, you're a bag out. Not a bag out. Yeah, you are. You want to give a hand job in an actor of going 50 and a 30. No insurance. You're a bag out. What are you about? I have insurance. What's my blush called? Flirty girl. Yeah, tart it up, you hooker. Yeah, look super horny, ready to go. You're a flirty girl. Dress like that, you were asking for it. Dress like what? Like a cool mom out on like mom's night out? Like dress like what? Yeah, you want to fuck at a dumpster. What's with you and fucking with a dumpster? I want to fuck at a dumpster. Well, you're projecting. Again, my issue with it isn't that there's a sexual undertone. My issue with it is that it's a negative message to women, but guys reap a positive effect, right? Guys are like, oh, she's a bad girl. Maybe she took me deep. That's pretty much what it's coming out of that. Back up, maybe she wore a spiked leather club. Yeah, on a motorcycle. She's probably a lesbian. She's on a motorcycle. Okay. Bad gal. There's no men's products. There are no men's products that have like a negative message to men, but women reap a positive effect. There's no guy putting on cologne, and as he's doing, he's hearing, you're gonna text her back within a reasonable time frame. There's no guy putting on aftershave, and as he's putting it on, he's hearing, you're 37 and share a room with two other dudes in the hipster part of town, and outside of the context of Los Angeles, it's actually totally socially unacceptable, bro. What's that? You run a t-shirt making business? Awesome. You only have online shit? That's cool. No real t-shirts. Also, you ride a bike to work and claim it's ecologically responsible, but we all know your credit is so fucked you can't get financing for a Kia. 